Alongside, we've just had the awards ceremony in the balance beam. Erica Stokes won that ahead of her teammates, Kim Zameskel and Amy Shear. You know, I want to say the guy with the toughest job in the arena is Jim Kelly. No question about it. He's got to not only keep track of all this stuff, but folks, he's working without a net. Jim, you got it. <laughs> no net, but we're getting a lot of mileage. Thank you very much, Barry. Well, Bella Caroli, of course, the premier name in ladies gymnastics, of course, became a household name back in 1976 at the Montreal Summer Olympics with Nadia Comaneci and then Mary Lou Retton after that, and now is probably the most famous gymnastics coach here in the United States. There is Bella, who has six of his 13-year-old protégés here at this Olympic festival. John Neighbor had a chance to sit down with Bella and have an interesting chat. At the 84 Olympics in Los Angeles, Mary Lou Retton stole America's heart. But also endearing was the relationship she had with her coach, Bella Caroli. Like Nadia Comaneci before her, champions credit Bella for much of their success, and today he's viewed as a top motivator and developer of true winners. Gymnastic is uh, just like any other sport. It doesn't go just on the physical field. We are building personalities. I have a, have a great, uh, great statement always when, uh, you know, little bitty kids are walking with mamas and mamas said, she will be a winner one of these days. I'm looking at them, and I said, at the moment when you brought her in, and this little child is stepping in this sport, she's already a winner. Then the mama's are saying, oh, they're outside. How, how, how come? How? Because doing this very sport, this tremendous personality builder, character builder sport, the child gonna gain something what otherwise will never on her life she would have. Self-discipline, confidence, promptness, the discipline of the work, of the knowing to take and, and the knowledge, and at the same time, the desire to take challenges. And not just to take it, but to win those challenges, to win the difficulties. And she's already a winner in this situation. Then the mamas are wondering, oh, but how about the gymnastic? Yes, gymnastic is the second uh, field when she can be a winner, but that's gonna take a long time, a long effort, and you have to put not just her desire, but your desire to support her efficiently, promptly, and honestly. Mm. In this case, yes, one of these days, she might be a big winner. The trick, he believes, is to deliver brief reaffirmations as cues for behavior, and only as much as is absolutely necessary. The motivation comes out always with a short statement. Go for it. You can do it. Now is the time. Look at me. Are you controlled? Yes. Are you going for it? Yes. Now go for it. So small, short statements dropped on the right time and the right moment. It's not like pumping all the time like a ball, pumping it up, pumping it up, poof, till pop. No, the right time and very efficiently have to be placed on most important moments of the competition. And that one, they are working very efficiently. He just, he motivates you really well. He does a really good job with that. And um, he, I don't know, he's a really good coach and he helps you a lot. What does he say that motivates you? I don't know, he doesn't really say anything in words. He just makes like sound effects and stuff and tells you what to do and it just, it just, it works. <laughs> that was and so by the way, this because type of motivation is applicable in all walks of life. What we are doing is a very intense, very disciplined, very practical part of the social life. We call sport, but doesn't matter. Sport or uh, uh, making hamburgers or uh, producing uh, airplanes. That's the same situation. You want, you know, to be efficient. And the efficiency is the one what you're building through discipline, through preparation, through consistency, and overall, the dedication and desire. If you put all these, these factors behind, you're going to be successful. Short, simple sentences can fire the imagination and encourage just about anyone to attempt great things. Anybody can be a motivator. I strongly believe you can use your words uh, just as efficient like I'm using my hands <laughs> and even more efficiently. I think I can. I think I will. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm John Neighbor. I'm with ESPN, and I'm working with these guys behind me. Okay. And I just wanted to say that you guys are doing so much work around here without a whole lot of attention. I just want to say that you're the best. Okay, I appreciate and, and you, it. And we're grateful for what you do, and you keep up the good work. I appreciate it. And do a great job. Just call my office and let them know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm John. John Salamanders. How do you do? How do you do? You've got a lot of nice stuff here, and you've got a great opportunity tonight because the gymnastics is coming. You're going to sell a lot? I hope so. Well, I think you will. You've got good materials. You're ready to do it. Do the best you can possibly do tonight because it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. 
You gonna be ready? Yes, I am. Good. My name's John. I know you've got a lot of stuff here that you're careful with. You don't want it to, to get crushed or anything, and it's all fresh. You're the best there is in what you do, aren't you? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, come on. You can be. You can be as good as anybody doing this. I just want to encourage you. Do the job the best way you can possibly do, and it'll give you more rewards. You guys are entertaining a lot of people walking through here, and I'm sure you're the best you can possibly be. Today, give an extra special performance, all right? Amen. Be extra really good and do a great job. Good luck to you all. Thanks. Okay. Ralph, I got to tell you, I just got off, I uh, just finished my interview with Bella Caroli, and he's the number one motivator in the world, and he is so pumped, and he's got me so excited, I just wanted to come in here and motivate you, and I wanted to say that although we can't watch all of the stuff you're doing, the stuff we have seen, it's very strong, and your pictures are great, and the story is great, and I want to make, make you know that you're the best that there can be, and tonight, when you do the show, make it super good, okay? Okay. Super good. Yes, sir. Only the best. Whatever you want, sir. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Nine more arrows to move up to eight and make the There's our executive producer, Ralph Molay, and there is Bella Caroli. How did Bella's girls do at this Olympic festival? He came here with six competitors, and they did very well in the team competition, in the individual, and in the apparatus as well. He works very hard down at Caroli's gymnasium in Houston. He is still very selective. There's the medal count for Bella's girls. Zemeskel, Shear, Stokes, Urick. Rivich and Pitson works seven hours a day at Caroli's gymnasium in Houston with the girls. He is not just a front office manager. He gets involved and he's emotional and he's good. Houston, just one of six of Bella Caroli's protégés here. The leader in the women's gymnastics competition after the compulsories. She ran away from the field with a very consistent performance and an outstanding routine on the balance beam. The goal just one of two for her as her East gym mates won the team competition too. For Kim Zemesko, back to back golden moments. Back at the Myriad Arena, a packed center for the gymnastics combination and the women on the floor exercise, Amanda Urich is up next. Barry? Third competitor, Jim, the first two having scored 965, Jenna McClown and Heidi Kay. Incidentally, here Tim Brando make a parallel between gymnastics and diving, and Heidi Kay was a two-time diving champion. She won the 1986 and 87 South Jersey Diving Championships. Meanwhile, Amanda Urich. Amanda was fourth in the all-around competition and scored a 9-4-2-5 on this event. Opens with a full twisting double back. <laughs> this is a fun routine. I think birds chime in a little bit later in the routine. Okay, that's a requirement of gymnastics series, the three leaps or jumps right in a row. <laughs> there are the birds. Yes, they're there. There's Big Bird right there at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> she could actually be having a lot more fun with this routine. I'm surprised she's not smiling. Whip over through to a double tuck. Perfect landing. Good middle pass. Full twisting back hands free. But you know, you make a really good point here, Kathy. Don't you really have to go out there and sell this? Yes, you do. And she's very young, and with time, she'll learn to do that, just like in that part in the corner. And final tumbling run. A double back and another good landing. That was really the strong point of routine, are the landings of the tumbling passes. You don't want to give away any tenths of a point taking this step. Scores have been high today, and the first two put up 9.65. You have to think Amanda Urich could have a chance here. Now, that's the smile you want to see in her routine, but I think she's concentrating on the tumbling passes. Another look at her first pass. She opened with a full twisting double back. Watch, you'll see the full twist in the first somersault. And then she pulls that second one around in tuck position. Came close to stepping out of bounds there. 
This is one of my favorite passes. She does a whip back right here and tumbles through to another double back, which makes that pass different from her last Score pass when she repeats a double back. Amanda and in the rules, you cannot have two of the same tumbling passes. Seven, oh. Nine, seven, oh for Amanda Yurick. We'll move her into first place. Three competitors, however, now still to come. Look at the, the crowd here at the Marriott year, Arena. A larger crowd Erica today Stokes. than we've had in the past. Capacity here about 13,000. I'd have to say, Clark Connor and I were talking about this a little earlier. What would you say, 8,500, 9,000 maybe? Erica Stokes now, coming off a win on the balance beam. Doesn't have the same difficulty as the other gymnast. She opens with a double pike, actually lays out the first one. I'm not sure if the judges will give her credit for a layout pike, though. Nice double turn. She shows such perfection in her movement. This is her gymnastic series of three leaps in a row. This is beautiful. The handstand pirouettes in straddle position. Her choice of music also has gotten the crowd into it, really seems to have picked everybody up. Definitely helps to get the crowd behind you. <laughs> Little wiggle in the corner before her second pass. Whip over, due to a double fold. Now this is where she doesn't show the difficulty that she needs to. She needs to be doing more double backs. She needs a full twisting double back somewhere. But that comes in time. Full twisting back handspring. Again, one of the more technically perfect gymnasts here. Double back! Oh, barely pulls it around. Erica Stokes. I'm glad to see her put that double back at the end. She needs difficulty like that in the routine. <laughs> but as you can see, she All really right. had to work hard for that. Take a look at her first pass now, Erica Stokes. And we'll see how long she stays laid out in the first somersault. She's really trying to hit a stretched position here before she pulls it into the pipe. Could have been stretched a little bit longer. And the last pass, and you were saying this is good. It's good because she needs more difficulty in the routine and to put the double back at the end, which she hasn't done in the past, but boy, she's working here to get it around, lands with her legs apart. It's a pretty substantial deduction, but I'm glad to see her do it. So it might be something for the future, if not for today, for Erica Stokes. There she is. And when we come back to the Myriad Arena, we will tell you how she scored. She has a 9-7 that put up by Amanda Urich to beat. We'll be back. Floor exercise.